Hi, so Turf is a pretty uh, big uh, JavaScript library coming in at 500 kilobytes and it can be really slow to load. And so um, what you want to do is that you want to kind of segment out only the parts of Turf that you're interested in working with. And so to do that, and I'm on a Mac here, you want to bring up your terminal and you go ahead and create a folder on your desktop. Inside that folder, you're going to make a main.js uh, text file. Um, this text file, of course, you can open it with um, with uh, uh, my, uh, Visual Studio Code, or um, you can open it up with any of these kind of text editors, Web++, plus plus, uh, Notepad++, Notepad plus plus, others like that. Um, or you can just even open it with normal text edit. Um, there's not that much code you need to put in there. Um, so for you have to decide which modules you want to work with. and you know, for here I'm going to work with the collect mod module and the interpolate module but I can easily change this to for example the buffer module so I can do whatever I want there or I can even add in a uh, third module uh, in there with the interpolate so that's a, uh, always another option uh, so, for example, I can even come in here and bring in third, or I can even just have one module and just have the collect. There's a lot of modules in um, in your uh, turf, and so uh, you have you're just trying to filter out the ones that you want. So, anyway, say I do this do three collect interpolate buffer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close this and save that JavaScript file there on the main, and then I go ahead and uh, go into my bash and the first thing you want to do is install um, turf so I'm gonna go ahead and bring up my uh, npn dot uh, space, space install and then uh, I do at turf um, and so I did collect and then uh, for in for any library that I have I need to just go ahead and type in the um, the libraries that I want and then that's going to make sure that I have those three libraries installed. So go ahead and I'll run that. That should connect and go ahead and get that uh, installed. Okay, so I got those installed. Now that I have it installed, um, I'm going to want to navigate to my turf folder. Uh, my turf folder is going to be on my uh, desktop. And so I'm going to change directory to desktop. And then I have a turf folder in there. And so now I can do list and see what I have in there. I have that main JavaScript there in the root folder for that. And so now what I'm going to want to do is I want to use Browserify to run that JavaScript um, and be able to create the subset of the turf folder, the turf JavaScript library that I'm interested in. Um, I might have to install Browserify if I don't already have that installed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as well and install uh, the browser, uh, sorry, Browserify. So that went ahead and, um, oh wait, maybe I'm having the spelling there. Let me see. So that goes ahead and runs. And so now I have that installed as well. And then finally, I can get to my last command, which is my Browserify uh, command. And so basically what I want to do there is I want to run uh, Browserify. And then I'm going to run that on my main JS. So it's going to read that JavaScript. And I want to use this switch of the S. And I'm going to say from my turf, that gets created, I want to write that out into a um, output JavaScript file that I could use. So let's go ahead and run that. So that's done running. So now I've subsetted that out. If I go back to my folder, you see it created this turf JS. Again, I can open this with um, text edit or just go with uh, Visual Studio Code this time. Try something a little bit different.
and I could see what got written out. You can see this now at 718 kilobytes. Um, still pretty big, but you can see now I've only got the versions of turf that I, the modules that I need. So now that turf library, I'll pull from that turf library whenever I code in order to uh, have it uh, load just the parts that I need, not the other parts.